got to say first, congratulations that uh, even though we're in Edmonton for the Juno Awards as we speak on the red carpet, your hometown is going to have a very special moment happening soon. Yeah, well, we yeah, so we're excited to host the Junos next year. First of all, we got the ECMAs, the East Coast Music, but yeah, we're going to be hosting next year. We're excited. We're having a great time here in Edmonton. They're taking great care of us. Come to Halifax. You're going to love it. It's going to be awesome. What did you guys have to do to make sure that this was going to happen for you guys? Because it's been a long, long time. Yeah, we haven't hosted since 2006, but Halifax is a hosting city. We just had the World Juniors and blew the doors off that. Uh, we've got the North American Indigenous Games this summer, so we host a lot of stuff, uh, and uh, we just got so much musical talent that we just can't wait to welcome the world to Halifax, Music City East. I've heard that when the last time they had the Junos, um, it was like it was a street party. Are we expecting something like that for next year too? You know what? In Halifax, church is a street party. Yeah. Uh, like Halifax, we've got a great downtown area on both sides of our harbor, but, but on the Halifax side, it'll be a street party. I'll guarantee you there won't be any quiet times in Halifax. If you want to get sleep and rest, then don't come to Halifax. You want to have fun? and just, you know, kick it up big time. Uh, it'll be an ass-kicking time in Halifax. Come and have some fun inside and outside. We're looking forward to it. Congratulations, Cam. Won't wait to be in Halifax. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. First, Julian. my friend, it is great seeing you. It was great to see you last night at the uh, Sheepdogs party. How was that for you, man? Well, we've been going to all these parties when they start, and we did. We had to go. We were gonna. We committed to see Billy Talent, so we, were, we had to leave before the music started at the Sheepdogs party, which seems pretty stupid, but... No, that's been our MO, Rudy. That, that was me too. So here we go. You know, that's the way we do things. But you know what? Uh, when we were talking last night, you told me about the uh, Juno Cup. Something very special happened. Yeah. Well, we we had a we, we have a you know we have a lot of good musicians come out to play, and everybody's so excited playing against the, the Euler alumni, and they're they're all they were great. They organized the whole game, and then four women from two different university teams, and uh, somehow we pulled off a win. And I think that going ahead might have been a little bit them going lightly on us, but they they rocked it at the end. And we had an extraordinary ex NHL goalie called Ben Scrivens, and he was he was a rock and a lot of fun too, yelling out stuff. <laughs> so it was a it was a thrill. You know, I, I, seriously, I wasn't surprised when you heard I heard about the win because these two gentlemen, damn, you growing big, man. <laughs> Well, they can both play too, so it was it was fun. It was what was it like playing? Oh, it's always a blast, honestly. Uh, the NHLers are fun to play against, and all the musicians. It's great to meet these people that, whether they play a lot of hockey or a little hockey, they're enthusiastic to get out there and try, and that's fun to play with. Well, but also, I mean, you know, you're playing with dad. You know, what's it like growing up knowing that your dad is a legend in the Canadian music business, but not just that, a great hockey player too. <laughs> Well, it was good for our musical ability and our hockey ability, I guess, right? So we followed, tried to follow them both, both paths at the same time with them. Well, you guys definitely did. Look, I don't want to hold you guys up, but I do want to say congratulations on that. Uh, are you already thinking about what you're going to do for Halifax for, you know, you're the champions, man. You know, you got to go in there, Queen. We are the champions, you know. Big tape deck, the whole bit. You preparing for that? Rudy, we have to be. We have to really underplay it because you poke, you poke the bear, and it's going to go badly, <laughs> badly, badly. So no, we were just we didn't celebrate too much in front of them. We, it was very nice, and we just have to. Uh, our we only have the element of surprise, yeah, so we have it. to keep that in our in our arsenal. Oh, and before we go, I thought I saw you post something that you're go, you're on tour or going back on tour. Uh, Blue Rodeo just finished a tour. We, we just played Massey Hall a couple of weeks ago, so that was a full year of touring. Both these guys have records coming out, and so that's uh, so I'll I'll sit back for a while. They can they okay, can. That means, uh, feel we, gentlemen, we got to talk because I want to hear about this new music. But all together, guys, thank you so much for the interview. Always nice right. to see you, Rudy. Thank Sir, you. As a Torontonian, I have to say that your city. The friendliest people I have ever seen. Everywhere I've been walking around, people either smile or they say hello, and it's a Torontonian. I'm not used to that. You know, Edmonton is a, is a community of communities. Uh, we take things easy. At the same time, uh, we know how to have fun uh, and support each other. Uh, and I'm glad that you experienced uh, a sense of belonging, a sense of uh, a camaraderie and friendliness in our uh, in our city. Uh, uh, that's how we. Uh, we roll, and uh, and uh, and that's very unique for our city. I'm very glad that you noticed that. What did this city do, and what did your committee do to get the Junos here? Because it's been a long time since this has happened. So this has been a community-led initiative. 
committee members have been working on it for almost six years. Uh, we were in Toronto last year uh, uh, to uh, drum up support for uh, for uh, this week. Uh, uh, so uh, it's uh, our city has been supporting. Uh, province has been very supportive of uh, of this event. Uh, but again, it's uh, to really highlight our artists, really highlight our venues. No other community have a beautiful venue like Rogers Place. Uh, it'll be buzzing with activities uh, here tonight, uh, and looking forward to that. So our ability to host international events is is just uh, unparalleled. Now I had a chance to speak with the mayor of Halifax. Yes. What advice can you give him? Since now you're a veteran, you're old school. You know what this is all about. What advice can you give him? That hopefully they're going to be able to pull off a great Juno Awards in Halifax. Uh, so Mayor Savage is a good friend. Uh, we. Uh, uh, been connecting with each other over the last few days. We went out for uh, uh, for lunch, uh, and we have attended uh, events together. And uh, uh, his community is very diverse as well, and they're going to focus a lot on uh, promoting local artists as well as indigenous uh, artists, as we have done here. Uh, uh, so uh, you know, I I would say, you know, mobilize your community, have a lot of fun. There we go, yeah. just like we've done here. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much for hosting this great event. And like I said, great city. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate that.